All right, welcome to Magic Realm. So we are on day 22. Uh, not been my best game. I will absolutely 100% uh, admit that. It's been sort of a rough haul here. Um, we are left, as you can see, with two <coughs> characters. The, the well-accompanied captain and uh, the wizard. And the scores are 10 to 8. Um... 10 to 8. Uh, the Berserker does have a couple points, but he's going to ultimately score 0, of course, because he has killed. But he will um, he will score points based on winning gold. And But that's about it, I think. I don't think he had enough prowess for any other uh, uh, bonuses. So... I think right now, unless someone else can get 29 gold in their pocket, I think the Berserker's getting a single point. In the meantime, the Captain and Wizard are scoring 4 and 3, uh, plus possible bonus um, plus possible bonus points that they get. And where the hell is it? I don't know. There it is. So there's our... There's our bonus uh, scores. You get one for winning a category. So the captain is winning one category. The wizard is winning uh, another category. So that's a point for each of them. And indeed, you score a, a bonus for eight cards, 60 prowess. The captain gets two points there. 100 gold, three great treasures, four spells. And I said eight cards. So, uh, I mean... <laughs> So there's a few points going to both the captain and the wizard. They're going to score reasonably well. The berserker and the magician are out of luck. Uh, the magician just had a terrible early game with a little bit of bad luck. A double one on a transform, an aggressive transform, which got him a dragon. And that didn't kill him. He actually escaped. But without his transform, eh, he sort of uh, floundered. The Berserker died here in the High Pass, uh, thinking maybe he might loot the Horde for the last week. Fighting two heavy trolls, and frankly, that was a battle he could have won and should have won, but ran into, I would argue, some awkward, uh, poor luck. And just kept taking uh, hits and could not uh, hit. And he missed like five or six times in a row. And even at only a one-third chance to hit, that five or six times is, I mean, you know, that's just a lot of times to miss. So, so we are stuck here with uh, only two characters. So this ought to be a reasonably quick uh, last week. We do have three events, a Goblin Bounty, a Lost Scholar, and a delivery. Well, I will put the... I don't think... I don't necessarily think anybody's going to do the delivery at this stage. But there it is. So there's our delivery. Uh, the scholar is going to appear randomly somewhere. So we take two dice and we'll roll those. And we see eight, six, so ledges six. So let's grab the scholar and put him in ledges six. Uh, there, so not super far from folks. And then a goblin bounty. So if you kill a goblin, wolf bounty is still on. The wizard has claimed it already, though, so only the captain can claim it. The captain actually doesn't. I mean, well, we should, we should be, I mean, honestly, we should be a little bit wary, I think. The wizard is only two points behind, and he is, he's close to two points right there. So he's, he's not, um, he, actually, he's close to a lot of points. The wizard could pull this out. The captain needs to get his crap together a little bit. And, and see what he's going to do for this last week. So, 
Uh, only two characters, so that sucks, but uh, it's not a it's not a blowout. So where is our buddy, the captain? The captain is right there with his compatriots. He has Curse Breaker, Brig Ma Bridge Magic, and Weapon Master, uh, none of which are great for him. Uh, goblin Bounty was probably great for him, so he probably goes and kills a bunch of goblins, frankly. Uh, in fact, there are goblins right there, so... I think that's where we're headed. So let's do that. Um, I would argue he rests once. Uh, we are missing a chip. So there we go, right there. So we're going to rest once just to get our crap back. I'm going to hide two times. Hell, I'm going to hide three times because we still have the boots of the Seven League boots. And then I'm going to move to the goblins. None. And that move is an extra move. So I always denote an extra move with an X. There you go. Oops. Uh, four. Now, what is our... What is our rando mage going to do here? So the mage... Uh, he does have the ability to take cover at any time. Um, this is interesting. He could score the Hermit, right? He could still score the Hermit. The Hermit is still alive. You get one VP for the Hermit. And yeah, I mean, for what he was just looking to keep second place from the Berserker, he's now looking maybe to overtake first place. Two points and he's got first place. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, the captain... The captain is, uh, you know, very dangerous with all his dudes. And I don't know if it's worth it to chase. We could chase the squirrel. But it might be easier to chase um, these bandits. Although having said that, we're not in a good position to kill any of these bandits. So I don't know that that's going to work out for me. Maybe the hermit instead... And the hermits, but the hermits only going to score you a single point. Could be a treasure location there. You could get the dead adventurer, but you'd still have to bring him back to a dwelling. However, oh, the pine woods. So I was thinking, however, here's a dwelling. But I don't know if this is a dwelling. It's 50-50. There is one, literally one woods tile and the large campfire left. There are two woods tiles and the large campfire is left in one of them. So he could technically grab the hermit, uh, head into here, grab the dead adventurer, and then head here and grab the last, uh, the dwelling. And that scores him the two points. If he happens to find a treasure site, Maybe you loot it and get the great a, a great treasure if you're lucky, and that would actually put him in the lead. Whereas I think if he goes the woods route and tries to score the one point in the woods, he is literally taking the rest of his game. There is nothing left to do. This is one day, two days. Three days, four days, right? So I, I think, I think he's doing this, and he might not make it, but I think that's what we're gonna do, though. So, 
I think the wizard is going to, so we do need, we do, we would ideally need some gold magic. So we're going to move, move, move. We're going to move and then move, move into the mountain. And we are going to rest one of our chits. And we're going to rely on take cover until it runs out effectively. So we should end up here. And the captain's going to go into the goblin. So there you go. There is day 22. This week is all set up and ready to roll. Monster roll is a one. So we got dragons. And uh, these guys are moving with the captain because they're following him. The captain is resting. So we're going to rest this chip. We're going to hide three times. One, uh, that's a fail, but we got two more. So the chance of us failing three times is pretty low. And here we go. A uh, roar would uh, pop something, but nothing now because it's all out already. And we are done. And we head into the goblins, done. Uh, the wizard is going to move and then move, move like that. And then he is going to rest. And we're going to rest uh, this chip first. It's not a great idea, but we'll we'll see here. And we're going to flip bones, so we get bats and the vault. Ooh, well, we can't open the vault. So it doesn't really matter to us. But it is safe for now, and that is the day. But um, we do have a small gaggle of goblins to deal with. There are six of them. We are currently hidden. Um, so, uh, hidden? Sure. Sure, sure. Might as well target one of the goblins while we're hidden. We'll take that guy and see if he happens to fall onto our sword as we charge out. One or a four, he lines right up, and we're going to intercept the goblin and kill him first thing, and that's it. And now, the goblins are all on our sheet, so now let's figure out what to do. Uh, we're just going to lure them with all the dudes that cannot be hurt by the goblins, first thing. So the first thing is, these goblins are going to be, now they can hurt him, so we're not going to necessarily pull them... Uh, actually, uh, 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 actually, I think we are. We are going to lure on that side, because if he does flip and can kill him, uh, we'll kill him first. He's going to go on that side, like that. And finally, you've got... think we're going to put all these guys on there, I think. I mean, long weapons are first, so we're going to go long weapons first. So we are going to have uh, this guy be his target. These two guys will line right up there, and the captain... will actually go in that third spot. So that's how we're lining them up for round two of the combat. Remember, uh, we've already, you know, we, we've killed someone on the first round. So this is the, the first round where nothing would happen. So we have two rounds. If you have two rounds and nothing happens, combat's over, you, it, it's a draw. So here we go, a one or a four kills this goblin, everything else, and these guys stalemate which they sort of do. And he does light damage. He's going to hit him every round. He does light damage because it takes the sharpness star off. These guys can't kill these heavy armor dudes. Uh, he goes five. So he drops down one. Does he flip? He does not flip. Down next.
And five, he goes down one. So no one is lining up. Does he flip? Because if he flips, he's in trouble because this guy is a time three. Nope, he does not flip. So we're going to go here. So, so far, uh, not a great round. So he drops to the far bottom there. No, he does not flip. So again, these guys, nothing happens. Uh, this guy is going to go one. So he's going to line right up there. Uh, the other two sides, let's see what happens. So what happens is... Oh, and this guy should never be... I'm sorry, this guy should never be on that side. He's always on that side. I'm sorry, because he's always an H1. So what happens is... Um, he goes to the bottom, he flips up top, and then he goes to the bottom, and let's, does the goblin flip? Yes, the goblin does flip. Does the crossbowman flip? He does not. Does the pikeman flip? This one. He does. Does this guy flip? If he does, he's actually in a little bit of danger here, and he does. And he is, indeed, in a little bit of danger here. Because this guy's going to hit him at that rate. So, the crossbowman has to come through um, on the missile table. So, two dice on the missile table. We're doing heavy damage right now. We can drop a level and do medium damage. We need a four. And we get a five. That is minus two level. So that's light damage. So the crossbowman hits first. He doesn't kill the goblin. And the goblin undercuts our pikeman and actually kills him. Well, there you go. We should not have put him on the board. That 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 doesn't didn't help us. So we're gonna lure him this round. We should have just played that in the first place, but we did. So we're going to lure him there. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. Maybe we don't lure him. Maybe we, maybe we put him down here. And we'll keep the uh, the fight on him. He has to go on this guy. So we're going to go here and here. If he stays in the danger side, he dies to uh, our to this guy, and if not. Uh, then he cannot damage our dude. So we're back to resetting all these guys. We're going to try to cover our move here with our bud. And we are going to uh, go into round three. One or a four would help. Nope, a two. So he goes all the way down to bottom. Does he flip or not? No. Up here, we're looking for a one or a four, of course, still. We get a one. So he's going to stay lined up and he's going to die. And he doesn't flip and he dies. So these are killed. This was killed by the captain. This was not killed by the captain. Uh, this guy here. Goes to the bottom. If he flips, I believe he is dead. He does not flip. So he does medium damage to him, but that's not enough. Over here. No one or fours. We're not getting a lot of them. There's a one. So he's going to line up and die. So it's a second one killed by our lackeys. Beloved henchmen, I'm sure. And now the goblin goes here. Uh, he gets a two. So he's all the way down the bottom. Uh, well, let's see where our guys end up. Our guys end up four and three. So he stays there. Three means he goes here. Does the crossbowman flip? He does, which sucks because he's going to miss. Does our guy flip? He does not. 
So what happens is we are first, we undercut the goblin and kill him. So the captain has two under his belt. But we do have to fatigue. So we're going to fatigue a M4 like that. And let's see what the round looks like now. So we have this guy here. Uh, we have, I'm going to put that guy there. Four goblins are dead. I'm going to put that there because I'm going, I mean, I, I, I mean, it barely matters. Um, so we're going to actually, so I'm going to, here, we're going to do this. I'm going to deploy our boys. He'll be the target. And we'll go just like that. Flip him over like that. So there you go. So this is how we're going to deploy our guys. The two targets are invulnerable to these goblins. This is a guaranteed kill here. The goblin goes, he stays right foot. And the two dice, six. So he goes, bam. These guys go up like that. Four, he stays put, and then it, it really doesn't matter what happens. The goblin can flip. He can do whatever he wants. He is dead, and he cannot harm this guy. So that is killed by the henchman. Let's go down here and see what this uh, little crew does. The goblin is going to three. He's going to swap down to there. Our boys are going to go... One and five. So he swaps down like that. Uh, does the crossbowman flip? No. Does the great swordsman flip? That doesn't matter really. Does the goblin flip? No. Unfortunately, the crossbowman gets the first shot at him. I should have taken him off of there. So the missile roll, again, we, we, we need him to just get a... Yep, he kills him. So unfortunately, he actually stole some points away because the captain only killed two guys. His henchman killed the rest. And, of course, we had a guy die. So that was, as it stands, a pretty crappy fight, all told. I could have done that a little bit better. I probably just shouldn't have put anyone out on, you know, I, I probably, um, yeah, I could have done that better. So we're going to score one, two, three, plus four, seven prowess. So seven prowess gives us 73 prowess, uh, which is great. We're going to score the goblin bounty. So that's another card point. But we are going to lose three notoriety. So that means we only actually scored four on that. So that brings us down to 70. Okay. And that's the end of that day. These goblins will go here in the dead pile. Uh, our injured soldier will go, or not injured, but dead. <laughs> injured as in dead. Um, so there you go. And that is the day there. And we can still score a goblin bounty. It doesn't necessarily go away. Um, we got two weeks, but we're not, we're a week left. Uh, what is the captain going to do now? He does not have good cards right now, the captain. But he can get the scholar and probably finish up. So if he goes one, two, three, four, that'll get him to ledges four. 
and he can probably get the scholar. So we're going to do that. So we're going to move, 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 move. And then actually he has an extra move, which we're going to utilize. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Now, does he have ledges four, six or anything like that? He has ledges four, six. So he can actually go one, two, three, four, an extra move and pick up the scholar right there. So we're going to do an extra move, and that's going to be to the scholar. So that's going to be his move. That's an easy move to make. Um, the wizard is going to go one, two, three, four. So the wizard is going to move, move, and then move, move to the hermit. So a little bit of a long haul there. Still chasing our guy. Um, and that's it. We're on day 23. So let's see what the monster roll is for day 23. Uh, it is a one. So more dragons. So it's pretty safe here most of the places. Um, captain is first. The wizard's going to go second. So the captain just makes the quick move. One, two, three, four, and five. And he picks up the scholar as a follower uh, we go one two three done and we're in the hermit's clearing uh the captain is going to drag him back one two i mean Uh, he has to take him back to a dwelling to score the point, so he will. It's just whether or not he takes him back. Where, where the hell does he take him, right? He can either go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, and not make it, or go one, two, three, but then have to fight the battles. I mean, either way. Curse breaker, curse breaker, bridge magic, and weapons master. None of those are going to score for him, really, in the time we have remaining. What we are trying to do is just score the couple card points to keep the wizard at bay, which I think we've done. I think I think the these last two points have done it. I, I don't see the wizard scoring four points. Uh, in the last couple of days. So I'm just going to play it safe. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go to Dark Valley 2. And then the soldiers will leave him. At the end of the day. So that's his move. Um... The move of the wizard, the wizard has to search for this hermit. So he has to discover the hermit for his VP. So we really need to luck out here. We're just going to search four times done and just hope for the best. do three times now we have take cover so i think we're just gonna live with what we got there we're just gonna hope for the best try to rush this through so this is day 24 that we're talking about let's roll that monster die for day 24 oh my god three days in a row dragons is nothing for these guys so that sucks a little bit so yeah it's the uh it's the captain first the captain goes one, two, three, four, five. He's done. And the wizard goes and searches four times. And his goal is to find 
a one or a four, he discovers the hermit, and he gets a four on the first dang thing. That is too damn bad. If you could have, if we could have known that, we would have moved on, but we couldn't. So first person to search and discover the hermit gets one VP. Done. So the wizard scores the hermit. So that's his sixth card point. His ninth point overall, so he is still two to two behind, but soon to be three behind the captain. Uh, and the soldiers are done with the captain. They bid adieu to the captain. So let's grab uh, the soldiers. So that's one, two, three of these guys remain. And they actually are going to be right there. And the captain himself is going to make the move. He's going to move to the guard. He's going to score the scholar. Uh, but then he's going to move out. So he's going to go one. And he has an extra move at that point. So he's going to move to the guard. He's going to extra move out. That's two, three, four, five. So he gets one more extra move, and then a move, and a move, and he gets a move. So he gets a total of six moves today if he wants it. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So he will go all the way to ledges. Three, I believe, and he'll have scored the scholar. And that is 24. Yeah, day 24 is, well, hold on. This We're writing day 25. The wizard needs to write his day 25. So he's going to go one, two, three. And he's going to barely maybe make it. So he goes move, move, and then move. And then I think he rests again. And he is done. And it is day 25. So we're quickly coming to the end here. With two characters, it's pretty trivial to do this last week. So we do have giants and trolls. So that's a little bit more dangerous for our characters. Um, and ultimately, we are going to... Captain is first. Wizard is second. Captain goes one. The scholar, of course, gets dropped off there. Oops. Jeez, I'm in. Two, three, four, five, and six. And we actually do get a giant. So a giant shows up, unfortunately, uh, on the captain's space. So there you go. We go one, two. Uh, and rest. So he's going to pull that back. And we get two things. We get Bones M. So we do get a giant, which sucks a little bit for us. And we get um, the tremendous troll here in the vault. Um, now what sucks is we now have to take cover. Um, that is our best bet. Having said that, I mean, we don't have to take cover. We could let this dude's horse get smashed up while we cast flame sword and kill this giant. Eight notor eight prowess is not going to do us any good. We're already in second place. Like we are not. We're not. Oh wait, we're not in second place, are we? The berserker te technically has second place in prowess still. So I sort of keep those scores up like that. You have to at least beat their score. If we had eight points, we would have twenty three points. Oh my gosh, we would win prowess. Holy crap! We're not winning. We would be in second place. 
Second place would get us one more point. So the cap, sorry, the captain, wait, hold on. Um, give me one second. Yeah, the captain, yeah, because the captain on day 23 is scoring Scholar. So that means he has 10 card points and 12 points total. So we're three points behind him. So what it really means is, do you shoot for that 10th point? And that 10th point would be the one point of prowess you would effectively steal from the Berserker. And that's great, but you would only be getting a, one more point from the Dead Adventurer unless you could find another point. And that other point could be, if you found great treasures, all of a sudden you have 11 points. With the giant kill, you would have 12 points, right? The giant's eight, yeah. With the giant kill, you'd have 12 points. You would tie. You could possibly tie him if everything went super great. Oh, hell. You know what we're going to do? We're going to use take cover right now. So we're going to use take cover. So the wizard burns take cover. I think I want to keep... I mean, the only other thing would be to lure. You have a two-thirds chance of this guy getting his, his horse cracked. Yeah, you know what? Heck with it. We're not going to take cover. We're going to have... The Lancer take this guy. So we're going to play in the encounter step. This guy goes like this. We, of course, flip him like that in the in the, 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 the melee step. We have a giant, and that giant is coming down here on this sheet like this. And the funny thing is, we actually, this Lancer will kill him. Um... And in the meantime, so the question is, the Lancer kills him. The Lancer auto kills him, doesn't he? Let's think about this. Lancer's on this side. He's H star four at a length of 10. This is round one. That 10 goes first. It's going to auto hit the giant and kill him. And even if this flips, it is a T4 at a length of eight. We're first. This guy cannot be, this guy can't be killed by the giant. The giant will not hit him before the Lancer spears him. So let's roll it. Four, so everything stays put. Does the giant flip or not? The giant does not flip. So this weapon goes first. It does heavy star damage to the unarmored giant. It kills him. The giant is dead. We score eight prowess. So that brings us to 23 prowess as the wizard. That 23 is more than the 22 for the dead berserker. We're going to take that point, and that gives us 10 points now. And it was an easy kill. It was an auto kill. Uh, this guy has a giant to deal with, and I don't think, uh, it, it's actually a little dicier for, for us. Uh, it actually, I don't think, maybe it probably isn't dicier for us. Let's, let's figure this out.
If we were hidden, this is a better deal. But we are not hidden. So I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <clears throat> so it's pretty much this. If this club flips, we are both dead. And uh, if not, he kills the giant, pretty much. That's sort of how this one goes. Uh, in this case, there's not much else we can do. So let's see where all these chips end up. One, so this thing ends up going down there, and it largely comes down, does the Giants Club flip? It does, which sucks, which means both these guys kill each other. And so we gain two notoriety for the Giant Kill. We're up to 72. But unfortunately, we also have lost yet another buddy um, so the captain is watching his army dwindle here a little bit uh, over the last few days. <laughs> so, uh, but he does score Scholar. Oops, 10th point of cards. He's still ahead by two points. Uh, for day Geez, oh man, day to one. I don't really know that there is much left to do for the captain. Gold? Can the captain score? No, captain probably can't score gold. I suppose he could sell all this for 21. That would give him 25 gold, but he would still have to subtract the 14 gold. And unfortunately, Berserker has 29 gold. So... 25 minus 14 is 11. He can't beat the wizard. No, he might just have to... He should have drawn new cards. I didn't really think about it at the end of the day. So let's just, I tell you, I mean, this is dumb, but we're just going to head back to the guard. Uh, not clever. Should have stayed at the guard and just done that. But I was trying to get get back out of dot. Man, it was bad, 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 bad. Bad move on the captain's part. Uh, the wizard... is going to move, move to the dead adventure. Move and move to the DA. That's day 26 for you. We don't have a lot of time. We have to find that dead adventure almost instantly. Uh, giants and trolls, again, I think all the trolls are out though, and all the giants are out. Uh, the soldiers are no longer hired, so we can just delete that shit. Okay, so the captain is first. He's going to go back to the guardhouse so he can turn in all his crap, which he will. And then he just goes to the dead adventurer there. We get smoke and flutter. Neither of those pop anything. Uh, I mean, ideally, you'd have got something like Lost City or something. Because then you could have found the Dwarven Smith and actually scored points. And so such is life. 
That's day 26. The captain turns in all his cards. Uh, let's do that. Uh, he gets Dragon Slayer, Consult Demon, and Snake Charmer. Uh, Dragon Slayer, Consult Demon, and Snake Charmer. So we'll put that there. Uh, his this goes away because it's no longer valid. Can he get to the snake? One, two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think he can make snake chart. So maybe he'll go for that. So that's his day 26. The wizard's day 26 was just moving to the adventure. So on day 20, so we only have two days left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have enough time. So I think the captain is done. The wizard will search twice. So that'll be his day. Let's roll. The captain just retires. Uh, it's bounce. So that's actually going to draw something. It's going to draw flutter in two. But let's roll for the searches. So we need to locate one or a four for the wizard. We have two shots at it. We fail once. We fail twice. Bats appear. We get three of them. Here, we still have take cover. So our last day, the last day for the wizard is two searches on day 28. We have gold magic in every clearing. What is the monster roll? It's a one, so, and largely you're just hoping. So you get one. He does find the dead adventure. So he gets the dead adventure. He finds a small treasure. It is not a great treasure. That's largely what he was looking for. He finds the map of the ruins. And that is where we end things. Um, it's 10 to 12. That's a great final score. As far as our Uber scores, we'll have to make that chart here. Um, I'm going to delete my old Uber scores. Delete my old Uber scores and... And we're just going to have how many games you had? Uh, how many? Uh, how many points you scored? So place. And then bonus points. Sure. Right. We'll do that. And then some. So the captain gets four points for uh, uh, scoring. And the wizard gets three points. I know you can't see what I'm doing, so that sort of sucks. Uh, let me pull... Where's my, where's my Uber scores at? Let me pull up the scores. This is going to be way smaller for the moment. Yeah, there we go. So that that that's where we're at. That's that's what we're starting at, right? The magician scores zero because he died. The berserker scores zero because he died. Oops. I'm sorry. These are all one game. 
the wizard scores three, captain scores four, magician is zero, berserker is zero. Bonus points, the wizard scores one for winning spells, the captain scores one for winning prowess, one for the amount of prowess he had, and one for... So he gets three whole points for that. The magician gets nothing, because he scored nothing. And the berserker still won gold, so he does get a point. And I don't know if this scoring system is going to work. It might... It might make the rich get richer a little fast, too quick. I don't I don't love that score exactly. I like the bonus points because they make you go fight for something after you've already won the game. But I don't like eight to four to one to a zero to one is a little bit crappy. But we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So that's it. That's the final score. Thank you for watching. Um, we will try to we'll try to get more Magic Realm stuff going. Um, but we got a lot going on here in the next uh, next month. So keep that in mind. So we'll try to get a couple more games in, but they might be slow going. Um, terrible game for me. I mean, I, I hate losing the Magician. Uh, I hate losing Berserker. Both sort of died to quirks of fate there a little bit. Um, but, you know, and there's not much we could do. That's it. I will talk to you all later. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.